How do the reasons for God work? Important. There are three basic kinds of reasons that all people who believe believe and for which all people who disbelieve disbelieve. Uh, if you disbelieve in God or you believe in God, it's because of all three of these kinds of reasons. The first kind are intellectual reasons. Uh, in other words, you either you read the arguments for the existence of God or you read the objections to God or Christianity, let's say. I'm speaking as a Christian. That's why whenever I go into a particular religion, I'm always going to think of Christianity here. Uh, and if, if, you, if you think the arguments are compelling, you believe. If you think the arguments don't aren't compelling, you don't believe. So there's the intellectual, what you might call reasoning proper. Secondly, though, you have personal reasons. Nobody believes in God or disbelieves strictly for intellectual, rational reasons. There's always personal reasons. And here's what's interesting. Some people have horrible, bad experiences, tragedies and difficulties and disappointments. And some people interpret that as meaning, I really need God in my life. I need something to help me get through this. And other people have the very same experiences, and they interpret as meaning, I don't need a God who lets stuff like this happen. Other people get very successful. For example, they come to work for Google. And they're happy. And they, 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 the toilet seats are heated. <laughs> How would I know that? And uh, somebody, somebody told me. I didn't believe them. So you're happy. Things are going well in life. So some people interpret... Uh, success in life this way. They say, this means I don't really need God. And other people interpret success in life as saying, you know, I'm, ha I'm successful and I'm still empty. So there's always interpreted experience, interpreted personal experience is a set of reasons why some people believe in God or not. Intellectual reasons why some people believe, believe in God or not. And lastly, there's social reasons. Now, there's a whole field of, uh, a whole discipline called the sociology of knowledge. And the sociology of knowledge says that basically you tend to find plausible, most plausible, the beliefs of people that you want to be, uh, you want them to like you. Now, there's people that you need and people that you're dependent on, people who are in the community you're in or want to be part of, their beliefs tend to be more plausible than the beliefs of people who are in communities you don't like or aren't interested in and don't want to be part of. So to a great degree, you believe what you believe because of the social support. And I think most of us have to be honest about this. If you once believed in God and kind of lost your belief, to some degree that happened because a lot of the people that you wanted to like you were also being skeptical and, and sophisticated and making jokes about it. Or if you move from belief, uh, pardon me, non-belief to, to robust belief in God, very often it's because you found a circle of people that you really liked and admired and you could identify with, with and you would like to be like, and they believed. But what you can't do is reduce belief or non-belief to just one of those three. And people always do it. It's always all three. And let me show you what I mean. Uh, very often, secular, non-believing people, non-believing in God, will say to me, yet yeah, Christian minister, you think you've got the truth. You think Christianity is the truth. If you were born in Madagascar, you wouldn't even be a Christian. OK, so I sit there and I say, no, what is this? What, are we, what, what is the point of this? Uh, here's what he's saying. He's saying, my, my understanding of God is based on rationality. I've thought it out. But your belief is socially and culturally constructed. Totally. You're only a Christian because you were raised here. Okay, not Madagascar. But see, what's the comeback? The comeback is, here's a person who says, I'm a secular person who believes that religion is, you know, all religions are relative. And you're this Christian. If you were born in Madagascar, you wouldn't be a Christian. And the comeback is, yeah, if you were born in Madagascar, you wouldn't be a secular relativist. <laughs> Does that mean that your position is, is all socially constructed? Oh, no, no, no. Well, see, yes and no. To some degree, the reason he doesn't believe is because his belief was somewhat, somehow socially supported. But it's not totally. It's also a reason. It's all three. It's absolutely wrong. It's disdainful. It's, it's almost exploitative to say, my position is based only on reasoning and your position is based on you know, cultural and personal issues. It's not true. And by the way, if you're a Christian, you must never think that it's all a matter of reason. If you're a Christian, you believe that, that the human being, we as human beings are made in the image of God, all of us, not just our reason, our emotion. 
you know, our social aspect, our emotional aspect, our intellectual aspect, we're all in the image of God and all of those things have to play a role in belief.